Hello friends and welcome to our last day of our word family for the week. Can't believe we're already almost halfway done with our summer videos. Crazy how quickly time flies. Okay, so please take out your word family book. Our word family book, our word family this week is Eid, right. So thinking about Eid, we know the rule. Let's say it together. When two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking. So we see here, we see our two vowels, E and A. The first one is doing the talking, so the first one is saying his name. Whereas the second one here is the A is not saying anything. He's helping, he's giving his powers over to the E to make sure the E is saying his name. So some examples, one we saw yesterday in our word work, seed, we see those two E's. The, we're not saying E twice, we're just saying E the one time. We're saying that long vowel sound because the, fir, the second E is helping the first one say its name. The same thing with leaf, leaf. We're saying the first vowel, not the second vowel, because that second vowel is helping the first. Again, our examples, play, play. Say that with me, play. Next one, rain. Say it with me, rain. Our next one, boat. Say it with me, boat. Great, so that was this week. Last week, of course, we had our silent E's. Okay, this week, we are going to be needing our pencil, or today, not this week, today, well, and every day, our space bar, or whatever tool you've been using for your space bar, and purple punctuation for our grade level markers or crayons or colored pencils today, we have kindergarten red, first grade orange, third grade green, and fourth grade blue. Hmm. 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 I wonder what we're doing today. Okay. Let's get started. Looking at the cover of our book. What is our, our word family again? Eid, you got it. Taking a peek at your cover, seeing if you have any words that you've written down that are Eid family words, ones that we haven't written yet, or ones that maybe you wrote at the beginning, but then we ended up writing in our books, which is fine. Okay, when you have done with that, Turn to your first page, and the first word that we wrote is the word weed, right? Weed. Looking at our two sentences, it is sunny out. I will weed the garden. Okay, you drew a picture of somebody weeding a garden, and you added details like the setting, what is the person wearing, what is growing in the garden. Where um, is the garden in the grass or in the dirt? You added those details. So now it is your turn to read through these two sentences, get that practice in. You can do that now or after we're done. Okay, turning the page to the Tuesday's word work, which is the word need. Our two sentences, I need new socks. They have holes. Oh, right. They have holes! Exclamation point. You drew pictures of holy socks, and then you added the details about the setting. Where is this picture at? Um, are somebody wearing the socks? Are they on the ground? Is there icky stuff around them? Or is the room really clean? You are painting that picture or that video or that movie in the reader's head with your details. Um, reading through those two sentences, now or afterward, your choice. Turning the page, the word we did yesterday on uh, Thursday 
was the word seed. Great. Reading our sentences. I put a seed in the dirt. Next, I water it. Great. So we have our seed in the dirt in a watering can, or maybe you, you drew a picture of a hose, or maybe, um, I don't know what else you'd have for watering the rain, but it was, we're saying we watered it. So a hose or um, a watering can, maybe a squirt gun. Maybe you like to water your plants with a squirt gun. I don't know. You have to add those details so the reader knows what's going on. Okay. And then reading those two sentences to yourself now or afterward twice. Turning to the next open page, the next blank page. You know what to do at the top. Right. Eed. At the top. Line across the middle. And then picking a color for your Eid family word today. Our Eid family word today is a word that um, has two letters in front of it. So thinking to yourself, an Eid family word has two letters in front of Eid. Okay, a little hint about today's word. You can use it kind of in a sentence. So if something gets stuck, you need to hmm it. But we need to think about this as Eid. So this word is a past tense word. This word has the D at the end to make it past tense. Like if I said, I jumped, it has that D, E, D at the end so that we know it, it happened in the past. Jump means it happens now. Jumped means it happens in the past. This word is a word that happened in the past. So when something gets stuck, I need to eed it. So when, so, okay, I said that wrong. My foot got stuck. So it happened in the past, my foot got stuck. I needed to, or I had to, hmm, why is that not working? Oh, I hmm it. So this is a hard one. I'm gonna give you a hint. It starts with this letter. Do you know what that letter is? I'll do it again. Hmm, okay. I heard it. It starts with an F. F. Eed. F. There needs to be, a, there's a letter missing. F. Blank. Eed. F. Eed. Hmm. When something gets stuck, I have to, I had to, hmm. It's so hard. That's a hard one. I'm gonna give you another hint. So we have the first letter. The second letter looks like this. What letter is that? R, right. F R E D F R E D Freed. Freed is our word. I was trying to say, my foot got stuck, I freed it. So somebody's foot got stuck, it happened in the past, and that person is saying, I freed it. Normally you would say like, um, my arm got, my arm is stuck in my jacket, I need to free it. Free would be the um, word that is happening right now. I, I'm freeing it or I free it. That is how you would say it's happening right now. But we're saying I freed it. That happened in the past. That's what I was trying to say. It was kind of hard to explain because you need to hear it to understand what I was saying. So anyways, our word is freed. I tried. You win some, you lose some. So picking out your color, the first letter is the letter F and 
our second letter is the letter R. So please write FR in front of Eid. Our word today is freed. Great. Okay. Our first word. Let's get ready to write that. Pencils out, space bars out. First word is a kindergarten word. The first word is the. Would you please write the word the? Of course, capital letter at the beginning because we know it's the first letter in, first word in a sentence. Okay, our next word is our fourth grade word. Are you ready for this word? It's a fourth grade word. Are you nervous? Are you scared? It's a fourth grade word. Uh, I'm gonna tell it to you because I know we got this. It's the word ball. Ball is a fourth grade word? We got this. Okay. First letter in the word ball. B. You're on it. Space bar. B. 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 Ball. B. Ah. Right. It sounds like it could be an O for like octopus or octagon would start with an O. This starts with an A. B. Ah. Uh, A. O. L. And the word all is at the end of the word ball. And all is A L L. So two L's. Ball. Four letters. Super simple. Ball. If we covered up the B, we'd have the word all. All is a very common word that we see a lot in um, writing. All. You get all of those cookies if you run a mile. <laughs> all. So the word all is in the word ball. Fabulous. Nice work. We did it. Fourth grade word. The next word is a first grade word. It's the word was. This word's a little bit trickier. W uh. W uh. W w. First we need a W. Right. W us. Uh. It sounds like a U. Right? Like umbrella or uh, uh, under. But the letter we're actually looking for is the letter we just wrote in here that sounds like b ah, which sounds like an O, like octopus. Oh my gosh, the vowels are going crazy today. No, we got this. The ball was, the vowel that we're looking for is the same right here that it, um, sometimes sounds differently but that's why they are sight words because we just see them and think okay this doesn't sound normal but i can just memorize it w uh s was s next was the ball was and our next word is s t uh Stuck. Stuck is our next word. Stuck starts with a s. s. Nice. S t, t, t. T. Ooh, now we're hearing a vowel that makes sense. You ready? St. Uh. Not w. Us. But it has an a. St. Uh. Which is a. You. You are awesome. St. Uh. K. K. 
what two letters make the k sound. Great, sometimes a C, sometimes a K, sometimes a C and a K, st, a, k. Let's use them both. St, a, k, C, K. St, a, k. Stuck. The ball was stuck in first grade or kindergarten word. Space bar in next word is also a kindergarten word. It's the word a stuck in a got it. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Stuck in a tree. Tree is our third grade word. Tree. Ooh, I like this word because it follows our Sometimes you have what we're working on this week, the two vowels that are walking together, two E's. Sometimes they're at the end of the word. Tree. So let's start out with the first letter we're hearing. T, 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 right. Er, t, er, r, right. Now, What is that vowel sound that we're hearing at the end? T, er, e, right? E, we hear that long vowel sound. We're working on that right up here. For e, d, there's a d at the end. But what if we had the word free? What would be the two vowels at the end? Right, free and tree rhymes with free. So what do we need to put the at the end of tree? T R hmm hmm F R hmm or F R E E E E. We are using our new rule. In other words, besides the one we're writing down, tree follows that rule. Two vowels go walking. The first one does the talking. Two vowels are going walking. That first one is doing the talking because this one is helping it say its name. Tree. The ball was stuck in a tree, period. Purple, of course. Okay. Next word is a kindergarten word. It is the word I. Do you think you can spell that word? I. I. Okay. Space bar. I. I, what's our next word? Freed. I freed, we know how to spell it because it's at the top. I freed, space bar, it. I freed it. Purple, period, and we're done. Nice work. Okay, ready? Find those kindergarten words. Taking our red, underlining the kindergarten words, and then we will compare our answers. I'm looking through and finding my kindergarten words that I have written down. Okay, when you are ready, show me your book. Oh, I got more colors all over my hand. When you're ready, show me your book. Show it to the screen. Ooh, nice. I'm seeing lots of kindergarten words that are underlined in red. Beautiful, 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 lovely, oh, beautiful. Okay, I'm gonna show you mine. Double check, look at yours. I double checked mine because good readers, mathematicians, writers always double check their work. Okay, my first word is the. Read these, the next ones with me. In, a, 
I and it. Fabulous. Okay. Next, we need, we have one first grade word. It's that word that starts with a W that I said is a little, little different. Doesn't, we're not hearing the sounds that we think we should be here or we should be writing down. Starts with a W. Right, was, w uh, sounds like it should be W-U-S, w uh, us. Hmm. Underlining that in orange. That's just one of those words that we use a lot and it's just a good word to memorize. Was, like have. Okay, and then, uh, oh, third grade. I almost missed our third grade word. The third grade word that we are underlining today is that word that follows the rule that we have been working on. It rhymes with free. Tree, underlining with green for third grade. Great. Green for third grade, tree. And then we need to underline that fourth grade word. Remember, it's a word that has all in it. Ball. You got it. Underline with blue. And then we're ready to read it all together. Okay. The ball was stuck in a tree. I freed it. Okay, so now we're going to draw the picture on the top. And I'm going to draw a picture of a tree with a ball in it and somebody pulling it out. You can decide if you would like to follow along with me or if you'd like to go on by yourself. First off, I'm going to draw the tree. So I'm going to draw a trunk. I'm going to draw my first line going down and then slightly curving at the end. And then I'm gonna draw another line that's parallel to that on the other side. That's the trunk of my tree. Trunk of tree, done. Next I'm gonna draw kind of the foliage or the leaves of the tree. And I'm just gonna draw kind of some swirlies to show my tree. There we go. There's my tree. And then I think I'm going to draw the, the, um, the ball stuck on a tree branch. So I'm going to make a little tree branch come out with like two parallel lines coming off like this. And then I'm going to draw some more foliage, some more leaves like this to show this is like an, another part of the tree. There we go. And then I'm going to draw my ball stuck up kind of in this area here. I'm just going to draw a circle on my ball. Okay. And then I am going to draw a person, a stick figure, because I like to draw stick figures, over here, reaching up to grab it, to free it. Well, I'm going to draw the person actually touching it because they... So I drew my body and my two parallel, or my two lines from my legs ahead. And then I'm gonna draw two lines grabbing the ball because we're saying that I freed it, not I free it, I freed it. So it happened in the past. So it has to be that that person actually grabbed the ball. So I have their arms, they're reaching up really high to grab it. And then they picked up the ball in my picture. Okay, so that's my person freeing the ball from the tree. I'd like you to add more details. Is there a squirrel up in the tree? Is there a deer watching him try and get the ball out of the tree? Is his friend who he was playing ball with watching him get it out of the tree? Or um, is there a sun or clouds? You're adding those details so that that reader is getting the movie in their head. Okay, that is the last one of this week. Next week, we will start our next word family. Um, for now, let's uh, make sure that you read through these two sentences. And if you haven't read through the ones that happened previously this week, 
then make sure to read through all of those twice as well. Turning to the front, I'm going to add a couple more Eid family words um, to show that there are more Eid family words that we just didn't get to. The first one that I'm thinking of is reed. Reeds are like something that you might find in a pond. They're usually tall grass-like plants. Reed, not like read like read a book. That's not spelled the same way as the one I'm thinking of. I'm going to write with a green because reeds can be green. Er, in our word family, E E D. If we wanted to write read like read a book, it would be read R E A D. But we're writing read like a plant is read. The other one that I'm thinking of, I'm going to tell you right now, this one's going to make you giggle. Are you ready to hear it? Are you ready? I'm going to tell you what it starts with, and I want you to think, if, think and see if you can figure out what it is. It starts with a P. Think about it. Imagine putting a P right here. What would this word become? Did you figure it out? I'm going to write it down. Did you figure it out? I know, Ms. Swanson is writing this on the cover of her book. Peed. <laughs> Read and peed are both Eid family words. I had to write it on the cover. Okay, everyone, nice work today. We have some fabulous, oh, there I go, saying fabulous again. Just love it. We have some fabulous Eid family words and some great ones that we added to the cover as well. Thank you, everyone, for your work this week. Fabulous job, and I will see you on Monday for our next, um, word family. And we will continue with our thinking of long vowel sounds. Bye everyone. Have a great weekend.